I'm Jesse Yost with Comscope Ruckus, and today we're going to talk wireless mesh troubleshooting in Ruckus Cloud. Back again in my Ruckus Cloud instance, today we're talking about mesh in Ruckus Cloud. The first thing that we need to know about mesh is that it is enabled on a per venue basis. So if you're trying to set up mesh uh, wireless networks, you have to make sure that that's enabled. To do that, we can go over to the venue, select the venue that you want to enable mesh for. We go over to settings, Wi-Fi settings. We then have to click on the networking tab. And then underneath networking, we're selecting a mesh network and we need to make sure that this mesh network radio button is toggled to on. By default, it is off, but if you're wanting to do mesh within Ruckus Cloud, you need to go into the venue and make sure that this radio button is set to on uh, before you begin. After you've enabled mesh for the venue, you're gonna need to add your mesh capable APs into the venue just as a networking device. So um, one thing that you need to take note of is that you will not be able to just plug in AC power to a mesh capable AP and hope that it on boards. You actually have to pre-stage these things by plugging them into a hardwired connection so they can get the initial connection to the cloud established and they can download the initial cloud configuration. Once they have done that, once you've plugged in your AP and it's showing up on this list as operational, it's downloaded everything, you are ready to go. You can then unplug your AP, move it to its final position, plug it into just power, and you will start to form your mesh connections. One of the ways that we can validate the mesh connectivity is through the use of the LEDs. I have a T310C as my root AP and a T310D as my member AP. I will caution you guys to check user documentation for your specific models, whether that's indoor or outdoor, because the LED operation between them can vary. From a mesh route perspective, however, you can see my T310C's air LED is off. That's gonna be the case for mesh routes. However, if you look at the 5G radio LED, you can get some additional information. We know that radio LEDs that are off or amber typically mean that there's no service or no clients connected. Here we can see a slow flashing green on the 5G radio LED, which is indicating a connection to a downstream wireless mesh connection. Taking a look at the LEDs from the perspective of the downstream wireless mesh member, we can see that the air LED is solid green. Remember we said if the air LED was off that it's either a mesh root or the AP is operating in standalone mode. But in our case here, you can see that the AP's air LED is solid green, which means it has a good wireless connection to its uplink AP. If it was a fast flash green, uh, that means that there is a connection uh, to the wireless uplink, but it's only a fair connection. And if it was a slow flash, that means that you've got mesh networking enabled, but the AP is still looking for that mesh uplink. Taking a look at our mesh information from the cloud GUI, we can see right from networking devices uh, which, which APs are members of a mesh. So uh, we can see the root AP and the member AP. And again, this view is gonna show us all venues. So I'm gonna drill down into our specific venue here, and I'm gonna go to the networking devices tab and just kind of look at the mesh in this particular venue. So again, similar, you can see root, you can see member, but there's also a mesh APs tab that you can select here to get more detailed information on the mesh itself. So again, we can see that our, our master or our root AP is defined here, but there's a tick box next to it. And if we select that little box, we can see its downstream neighbor. So we can see both APs, we can see the MAC addresses, the models, uh, we can see how many clients are connected to each uh, node in the mesh, as well as the hop count away from the root AP. Uh, I skipped over signal on purpose here because that is a very important uh, value that we can look at. This is actually the SNR. The first number here, 60, is the SNR that we're hearing from the upstream AP. The second uh, number here, 75, is the signal the upstream 
AP is hearing from us. So this is actually um, the signal to noise. So it is the signal above the noise floor in this environment that these devices are hearing each other. And we're looking for a value of 25 or higher. So if you're having an issue with your signals and you're below 25, you're gonna wanna try to reposition your APs maybe a little closer. If um, you can adjust the power within regulation, you may wanna adjust the power and get those signals up because that's really gonna impact the quality of the connection for clients that are connected on that uh, member AP. That's it for this one. Hopefully this helps you guys enable mesh in your environment and play with it and tell you what a good signal and a bad signal looks like and give you some indication of what those LEDs are doing.